So we've come to what I would call the long-awaited prequel before the series or season finale, I should say. And boy, were some things revealed to us that made us go, wow, at least to me. Uh, who knew that Gerald was there since episode one or since we saw the kingdom fall, if you will. And the way they filled those gaps in the storyline is just a stroke of genius. I could understand why people were telling me, hey, it's a slow burn. But once you pass the midway point, which around episode four, things will start coming into place. And boy, have they. Um, everything from Siri and, her, you know, where she's at in her story and where Geralt was in the story, where Yennefer was in her story, it all is basically right before episode one or when we see the um, the invasion of the kingdom, uh, you know, when, when uh, Siri's mother or adopted mother or grandmother, if you will, uh, jumps out the window a la Game of Thrones style. It was such a very, very, it's a, it was a very good episode. Uh, there was a, a little bit in the in the middle of it when they were having that kind of round table meeting like the wizards and I'm assuming there were all like wizards and sorcerers there, but it was kind of boring and that thing dragged a little bit too long and I get it, you know, they were trying to lay down the exposition as to why how the kingdom fell so easily because when the, the show is is trying to portray that kingdom as a very powerful very big they're warriors like they they uh should be a very formidable opponent but this other kingdom comes in and just destroys them so quickly when we saw the bravado of her majesty when we saw the the power that she wielded and how she subjugated anyone that rose to her and now we see why you know basically the she became at least from what i see and maybe i'm wrong and if i'm wrong let me know down in the comments but she got too big for her own self she became too as gerald say said her ego got the best of her and she thought she was invincible she thought her army was immovable and you know what they say, the, high, the higher you rise, the harder you fall. And we saw why she she felt. And we see when, you know, the, the child of surprise where Gerald was trying to go and, and help Siri. And because of, of, the, of her majesty's uh, ego, because of her majesty's, which is admirable, right? We all want to believe in ourselves. We all want to have the faith that we could do and overcome anything. But she basically put her granddaughter in jeopardy by not doing. And this show has a lot about that. A, a lot of the same, you know, circular motions where, and, and I guess, you know, if you want to call it, I, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe just in life, right? We decide something and then it goes bad or, or there's ramifications and then we're trying to fix it. And it's the same thing with the storytelling. An act is created, it leads to problems and now the same people have to fix it. And again, maybe it's just not, not so far off from real life and maybe that's what gives this show that extra oomph to make it that much more believable. But what an entertaining episode. It was very entertaining. It was very uh, well written. It was very well acted. I will say this. Henry Cavill must have paid too much attention or worked with the vocal coach for Ben Affleck or, or you know, maybe just a Batman vocal because he was talking like this. His voice was always like this and it didn't seem like it matched the rest of the episodes and he was just doing this like you will suffer or you will die. You betrayed me. So I was like, what is he trying to do like a Batman impersonation or is he like because it was very different. If you if you go back and watch the dialect that he's doing, he's doing a way more relaxed, way more deeper but in this one he just went all crazy and gargly and just way too over the top and he was doing this when he could have just done like you know i mean i'm not I'm, I'm not doing a very good job in in doing one but he was way more 
monotone and it's you know kind of approach just uh, 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 you know in this one he was way more animated maybe it was the the first scene they recorded or they filmed and then they told him hey you know what you know uh calm that down calm, it's too harsh it's too big and you're gonna just hurt your throat and by the end of the of when we finish taping you're not gonna have a voice left and maybe that's what they did because I couldn't imagine them filming like, you know, obviously they didn't film the way they shot it. So but this definitely felt like it was his first time doing it. And he did it over the top. But that was my only little nitpick as far as like it, his acting was great, even though he really didn't have much to it. This was definitely if I had, if I could name this episode, it was the Siri episode because the show did focus a lot on her and you know obviously where she's at in this story and then the rest of the story was just catching us up to the moment that we saw in episode one or two now that i remember i'm trying to remember was it episode one or episode two but anyways i was high i highly enjoyed this episode it, again the pacing was great the music was great um but who knew right gerald was there since the beginning or when the kingdom fell, uh, that was probably the more eye opener for me. Was it for you? But anyways, those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about episode seven. Did you enjoy it? What did you think about it? Do you feel the same way that I did? But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.